Okay, hello there and welcome back to my channel. I did a video over the summer where I picked out 10 eyeshadow palettes that reminded me of summertime and I wanted to do that again except for fall. Now this time I do have a few more than 10 but I wanted to have a nice variety for the next couple of months and I just thought all of these eyeshadow palettes that I'm going to be mentioning today are perfect for the fall season. So if all that sounds interesting, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit more so while I'm holding the eyeshadow palettes, you can see them a little closer. Now, all of these eyeshadow palettes that I'm going to be talking about today, not all of them are still available. But this was, but this is really just a fun video to shop my stash and pull out palettes that I already own. This isn't me telling anyone that they need these particular eyeshadow palettes. If anything, I just hope this video encourages someone to shop their stash and see what they have that might be inspiring for the fall season. So this is just really for fun. Now I'm going to start with the drugstore eyeshadow palettes first and then I'll do the high end. And if you are curious about this eye look, I will also have a tutorial on this eye look in the video. I've included timestamps for you below so you can skip around if you want. But let's go ahead with these drugstore palettes. The first one is from e.l.f. This is their bite size eyeshadow palette and this one is the pumpkin pie one. Of course I had to pick that for pumpkin pie. I mean that is just perfect with the, these browns, these orangey tones. It's absolutely perfect for the fall season and it's a really good way to get a fall look without breaking the bank because I believe these are only like three or four dollars. They're very inexpensive at the drugstore so I did of course want to include some of these. Next up is also one of their bite size eyeshadow palettes from e.l.f.'s Good Vibes Only collection. So I don't know if these are still available or not. I know that my Walmart still has some of this collection. So if you can't find it online, then maybe try Walmart if this was a palette that you were interested in. But this is the Hey Sunshine palette. These pretty browns, that yellow gold, I just thought that was a perfect little small palette. You could probably get a very simple and easy eye look with this palette. Perfect probably for every day since this is definitely a very neutral leaning palette with just a little pop of yellow in there. So I did want to include this one. And the last from the Bite Size eyeshadow palettes, this one is the Hot Jalapeno shade. Now, at first I was pretty unsure about this one because, you know, I know it doesn't have the oranges or the browns in it, but it does have these beautiful deep greens and then this kind of yellow gold shimmer shade in the palette so I did want to include it because it could be a perfect companion palette for some of the other ones that I'm mentioning so I did want to include this one as well. Okay this is from Wet n Wild this is their Color Icon 5 Pan Shadow Palette and this one is Sun Days. I mean there again really beautiful warm fall tones. Another great way of not breaking the bank to participate in any fall eyeshadow looks. Just absolutely stunning and just an excellent quality and I believe these are also around the four or five dollar mark as well. So just perfect affordable options for fall. And one more from Wet n Wild. This is their 10 pan palette in the In Comfort Zone. I mean, I definitely thought that these shades, like these deeper greens, these brown tones in this palette, I really got fall vibes from this eyeshadow palette for sure. And I know Comfort Zone is a classic. Probably a lot of people own this palette. Maybe, I know there's been multiple versions of it. There's been an older palette as well. So if you don't have this version, you might have a version of this palette somewhere in your collection. And this would be a good time to pull it out if you do have this palette. I just thought this was perfect for this time of the year and I can't wait to get some more good use out of it. This next palette is definitely a fall palette. This is Colourpop and Raw Beauty Christie's collab at Forest Sight. Definitely, definitely with these deep greens, these browns, these yellow golds. This is a perfect eyeshadow palette for fall. And I haven't used this palette in a while, I don't feel so. I am super anxious to be using it again because it really is a lovely palette. It's really sad that you can no longer get this one. And this next one is the one that I am wearing on my eyes today just to do this cute little fall inspired eye look. And this is from Perfusion. This is their Harvest palette, which, I mean, this palette is definitely fall with these pretty 
this is just a fall palette. I mean, it's called the Harvest Palette, and all the shade names are fall-inspired. This is just the most perfect palette I feel like you can own if you are a fall color lover. This is definitely it, and be with... And with 20 shades, you definitely have a variety that you can create looks all season long with this palette, and it is excellent quality as well. I hope that this one is really still available because it is so nice. And the last palette I'm going to mention, this is one that it sold out really quickly, but then it's like I heard nothing more about it after that. And this is e.l.f. Cosmetics collab with Chipotle. I'm hoping that you can see because it reflects. This palette reflects really badly, so I'm going to try to hold it. There you go. You can see the shades. I feel like this is actually a perfect palette for fall, even though I know it's not intended to be. It's just made, the shades were made to look like the food that Chipotle sells. But, I mean, these greens, these oranges, browns, this is a perfect palette for fall. So if you did, so if this was a palette that you did pick up, I think it's perfect to pull out this time of the year and get some really pretty fall inspired eye looks if you want to do some fall eye looks. I know you can wear all kinds of makeup looks all year long but if you do like to kind of change it up for the seasons this is a perfect one to do it with. Okay that is all of the drugstore eyeshadow palettes so next I'm going to start with high-end palettes and I do have one that is going to be more like an honorable mention because it's not an entirely fall eyeshadow palette, but there's half of it that I feel could work for fall, and it's also one I'm including for my own sake. But first up, this is the House Labs 4-Way Eyeshadow Palette, and this one is in Sunset. Now, you can't get this one anymore unless they still have some stock left on Amazon. I'm not exactly sure, but this eyeshadow palette just screams fall. It looks like just pumpkin. I just think of a cute little round pumpkin when I see this particular eyeshadow palette, so I definitely had to include it. Uh, some of these four-way eyeshadow palettes can be a little hit or miss as far as their quality, so this is one that I am anxious to remind myself of when I wear it on my eyes again, so I did want to include it though because it is the perfect palette I feel for fall. Next up, this is Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Subculture Eyeshadow Palette. Now, I know that there was some controversy around this palette. I got mine from TJ Maxx, so I don't exactly know which batch I got mine from because I know, I believe they re-released this palette one time. I don't know. I've never had any issues with this one. It hasn't given me any trouble the couple of times I've used it, so I did want to include it because it definitely reminds me of fall with these deep greens, these yellow golds, the browns. It's just a really pretty palette for this time of the year, I feel like. And even the packaging, something about the packaging even too reminds me of fall, just this, what, what is this, like velvety kind of packaging. But one thing I did want to mention is these two, this is Wet n Wild's Comfort Zone, they have a very similar vibe. Not dupes, of course, but just similar kind of like with the deeper greens, the brown shades. So I did want to mention that in case you did have Comfort Zone, then you might can kind of get some similar looks with these palettes. I know that, of course, the Subculture palette has more shades and has those yellows, but if you were wanting more of the deeper greens then or the warm browns, then this palette would be perfect as well. So I did want to bring that up. Okay, the next one is also from House Labs. This was the Love for Sale eyeshadow palette, and definitely, definitely got fall vibes from this one as well. And what I like about this one is you have like these more neutral shades on that side, and then you have these more pops of color over here, especially with these warm tones and then some of the greens in this palette. I definitely thought of fall when I saw this one, so I did definitely want to include it. I felt like out of all of the eyeshadow palettes that House Labs launched, this one had the best quality, in my opinion, out of all of them. I would love to see the brand relaunch some eyeshadow palettes, like powder eyeshadows. I know they have those liquid eyeshadows, but I'm not a liquid eyeshadow person, so I would love to see them come back out with some powder eyeshadow. The next palette is from Tarte. This was their Man Eater After Dark eyeshadow palette. I love the packaging of this one. This The pretty little leopard pots. I just thought those were just so pretty. And then, of course, the inside is definitely a fall-inspired palette. Of course, I know this palette did come out around the fall time last year. And I know they've recently actually launched another palette in this line, another Man Eater palette. I don't currently have that one, but I would love to try that one out. But until then, this is definitely a really pretty fall inspired palette it just has these lovely tones this is a really excellent quality eyeshadow palette from Tarte they really did a good job of this one now this next one was one even though it does have a 
well, sort of fall color scheme. This would be more for my bright and colorful makeup lovers out there. This is definitely a kind of like a fall color palette, but it's more of a bright palette. This is the ABH Norvina eyeshadow palette. This is the volume three. And as you can see, it definitely has like the oranges, the yellows, the browns, the greens, but more on a brighter note. So I did want to include it because I know there are a lot of colorful eyeshadow lovers out there that might want to participate in a fall makeup look, but maybe they want to do a little bit of a punch. This is definitely a good eyeshadow palette to do that with. This is bright and bold and colorful. You barely have to dip your brush in this palette and get excellent pigment from it. So I did want to include this one as well for just that really fun colorful fall moment. And the next one is my honorable mention. This is the one I'm probably including more so for myself because I love this palette so very much. If you've watched some of my videos in the past then you might know exactly which one I'm talking about. I I know this palette was hit or miss with a lot of people but I love it so much and that is the Urban Decay Wild Greens eyeshadow palette. Now here is where I said that of course, my lights make it look a little brighter than it is, but if you cover this side of the eyeshadow palette, then that side, it's so hard to show you with the reflection, there we go, is more of a deeper, more fall tones, like these more warmy tones, the greens, the deep greens. I just got more of a fall vibe from that side versus this side's a little bit more on the lighter side. So. I thought more about that side when it come to fall. I'm trying to show you so hard without it reflecting because this is a reflective packaging, but I don't know. I just, I wanted to include this palette. I love this eyeshadow palette so very much. It's my favorite eyeshadow palette of all time and I have backups of it because I love it that much. So I just wanted to include it. If not for anyone else, then for myself because some people might look at that and, and say, no. Okay, I went ahead and done this side so you could see the finished look already. So to get this look, I use the Perfusion Harvest eyeshadow palette. I mean, if this doesn't scream fall, absolutely no palette does. So to do this look, I use this really skinny angled liner brush. Now this one's from e.l.f. This was from their J Kissa collection, the J5. You can't get this brush anymore, but any little thin angled brush will do. And I'm going to start with this shade right here, the shade Gather. And then I'm going to tap off a little bit of the excess and then spray my brush with some setting spray. Now I'm hoping I can do this on this side because on the other eye I can lean in real close to my mirror. So let's hope that I can recreate this. Now this shade's really light so I had to build this one up quite a bit to get it to show up on the other side. I definitely wanted to do a look. Then use kind of like a yellow gold and then of course an orange and a red and green. Those are the colors that I really think of when I think of fall. Then on that same brush I'm going in with the shade Autumn. And just repeat the same steps. Tap off the excess, spray your brush, and then go in. It's so hard to talk and do this, so I'm sorry about that. And then just keep building up that shade to where you want it. I did use a red on the outside of this one, but I'm going ahead and taking the, or the orange shade all the way across because the red shade kind of looks similar, so I just want to have this outline. It's probably not completely even, but it's, it's totally okay. Close enough, that's what counts. Then lastly, I'm going in with this shade right here, Foliage. And then I'm just going to place that over the outside of that orange part on the end here. This shade is only a little bit deeper than that orange shade, so that's why I said I'd go ahead and put the orange down first and give me that outline. I put this one too high, because see, this one went a little lower. But now this eye is more, got a little bit more of a fold on this side than I do over here. I mean, I still have one on this side, but it's not quite as bad. So I guess I was thinking I need to draw it higher, but, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. It's just makeup. This is just for fun. And then I'm going in with the shade Marigold on a pointed eye pencil brush from e.l.f. And I'm just going to start taking that and running that all over the lid. 
right to underneath where we put that little fall line. Now, I don't know if you can be able to, if you'll be able to see the shift on camera, but there is a shift to that shade. I'm just going to put on some mascara and my false eyelash on this side, and I'll be right back to do the lower lash line. But I used the Ioni 3D Foaming Lashes in Natural Cat Eye Light. Okay, and all I did was I also applied in my waterline the ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie Grim Gel Liner. This one is in the shade Spare Time. Unfortunately, this has been discontinued, which that's really sad because it is the perfect green color for fall and it matches this green shadow I'm going to use next perfectly. So taking a pointed eye pencil brush from e.l.f., I'm going in with the shade Willow and I'm going to start running that on my lower lash line. This is definitely a perfect green for the fall time. Okay, and here are the eyes all done. But there you have all of my picks for this fall season. I do hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, I hope you'll please consider subscribing, commenting, liking. It truly means the absolute world to me. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.